Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. Today is Monday, and Monday is an open collab that is called Hashtag Coloring Party with Friends. This is hosted by the lovely Grandma Sandy, and she has a co-host, uh, Crafting Rose. So go over and visit those two ladies, and they are in charge of this collab. This is an open collab. Anybody can join in. All you have to do is show your coloring that you want to share or a book haul or whatever, as long as it has to do with coloring and it's um, appropriate and clean, okay? So today I am show sharing from my Grayscale Coloring Book number eight by D Dara Kahorski. Um, and it's Fantasy and Fairy Cuties. So this is a great book. Yesterday was Sunday and I stayed home all day, cleaned house and in between cleaning house, I would color. So I got so addicted to this darn book that I colored four pages in here. This is such an awesome book and I didn't realize she had so many books. Um, but I will show you, I only have seven pictures in this whole book completed, but I had started out with this page on 4-9-2023. Uh, and from there, I did this page. Oh no, I did this page on 3-10, so this was started on 3-10. Anyways, with the cute purple hair, I love their big eyes, and I love the grayscale on this because it makes it so much easier to color and blend. And then yesterday, I started out with this one and I did some blue first and then I went over it with this red. Well, the red kind of hid the blue, but yet it gave it a tint to um, to shadow it. So it, it really turned out good. And then um, I loved my skin tone on these. They turned out great and her pretty green eyes. And I did her lips in purple and with the gray scale, it does make them a little darker. So I really liked how it turned out. So that was the first page that I did yesterday. And then I went to this page was my next page. And I loved how the, the blue hair came out. Um, the eyebrows weren't so great, but you know, I tried. So, and then again, I think her skin tone turned out great. And then I just switched to the next page um, I didn't have too much of a contrast with the butterfly. I wish I would have had a little more contrast, but it still was okay. And I did purple hair here. And I did, um, I did uh, glitter gel pens for her lips and her eyes here. So there's a little sparkle on there. And then the last page I did was this one. And I thought it turned out super, super cute. If I wanted to, um, hey, if I wanted to um, get more detailed, I could have put green in here, but um, I didn't. But it still turned out really super cute, I think. So all these pages are just adorable, and I can't wait to work in it some more. But after four pages yesterday, I kind of was done with it, and I didn't want to do any more out of this book. So then I switched and I went to um, this Barbie coloring book that I have. And I think I've done three pages out of this Barbie coloring book before I started the one yesterday. Oops, sorry. So I had done this one on 629.22. And then I had done this one on three on 216.23. And this one on 4 9 23. And then I started this one last night. So I still have a ways to go on that one. But it turned out really, it's turning out cute. And again, lots of cute pages in this book. So this is what I'm working on today. All right, you guys. So um, just put in that hashtag coloring party with friends. And then you can go over and see what everybody else is coloring today. She has quite a few ladies that join in on this. And if you would like to join in, just put that hashtag in so that Grandma Sandy and Crafting Rose can find you and watch your video and everybody else as well. So you guys have a great Monday and a great week ahead. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.